flywheels. And it feels like reflection is a really important part of the flywheel where every single year, to some degree, we're saying either explicitly or, uh, you know, implicitly, here's what I want to go and do. You need an end to that where you then reflect on how did that go, you know, and then decide how to allocate your resources. So it just seems like a very helpful, I don't know, tie in to this idea of having a feedback loop in what you're doing. Absolutely. That's such a great connection is reflection closes the loop. So the loop that I think about in my life, I call the improvement loop, which is at any moment in time in any dimension of my life or career, I'm always doing one of three things, planning, experimenting, or reflecting. So planning, I decide what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Experimenting, I try things, I take action, and I track to see what's working and what's not working. And then after that, at pre-select intervals, I take a step back and say, okay, what did I learn? How did that go? How can I implement those lessons into the plan next time? And the key is to reduce that cycle time so that you're going through that loop faster and faster. And that, that what I see is the, the real secret to those who have a very accelerated trajectory is that they have a very quick iteration speed and that they're taking in new lessons and feedback and implementing it into new experiments very quickly. So they're able to take more shots on goal, shoot their shot more often, have more experiments that are running. The more things that you try, the more likely you are to stumble on something that works. So all things being equal, optimized for quantity. And I find that reflection, a lot of people think, hey, if I slow down, you know, I won't be able to move as fast. Well, it's like, no, if you slow down, you will find more ways to move faster in the right direction by doing things most effectively. So yeah, it's, it's one of those classic examples how slowing down actually accelerates you. And yeah, I, I can't speak enough about the power of reflection. I think of it as the speed limit on growth.